Welcome from the Richmond Hills Public Library. I'm Miranda, the youth librarian, um, and we all this week we are learning about um, and and theming our things around fairies. So today we're going to do a really cool project um, that is very colorful, like fairies tend to be, um, and kind of looks like flowers sometimes if you do it the the right way. But there's really no right way to do this project. So we're just gonna get started and see what happens and have some fun with it. Um, the reason we're outside is that this project can be a little bit messy. It really depends on how flamboyant you get with part of it, um, which you'll see when we get started. Um, but we're outside because I do tend to be a little messy and so I figured it would be easier to do it out here. So for this project, you're going to need some string. I'm using embroidery string because it's a little bit finer than yarn and I think that'll make a better uh, picture for what we're going to be doing. Um, you'll need, well, I'm going to use a cloth to wipe off my stirrer in between all of my colors. Uh, you'll need some cups. I've got three. Uh, you'll need, well, actually I need the cups because of what I'm using for my color. I'm using food coloring. Um, you can use ink. You can use paint. Um, food coloring is really probably just the easiest one to use. Um, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't last as long if you use food coloring. Eventually you're going to have to throw it out because it's food coloring. Um, ink would definitely last you longer. Um, but food coloring is cheaper and easy, more easily accessible. So that's what we're going for. Uh, you'll need some water to put your food coloring in. Um, I'm going to use a sketchbook for this part and I'll show you why that's easier for me here in a minute. Um, but you can really just use a piece of paper folded over if you want to. Then, to help me weight down my sketchbook, and you'll, again, you'll see why once we get started, I've got some old books that I don't really care if they get like a little bit of food coloring on them, um, which is important. Don't use books that you care about whether or not they get messy too. Um, all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna mix my colors first. Oh, and scissors. Sorry, I forgot the scissors to cut the string with. I don't think we need much water. Okay. And I'm going to use two green and purple. Not like the food coloring I'm used to. It just comes out of there real fast. Okay. All right. Let's get them stirred up. for our string. I wasn't sure if this one would be enough. Your string shouldn't be too long, um, but it also, you don't want it too short either. So I think what I'm going to do, and y'all may have seen me do this in a previous video, is I'm going to bring it from my nose to my arm all the way out, and then that's going to be the length of string that I use. And I only need three. I'm going to go ahead and dip it down into my water and leave a little bit hanging over. Looks like it's not sinking in, which we do want it to do. There we go. Okay, let's do two more for the purple and the green. For a grown-up, that's about three feet. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I am having issues with the string wanting to float on the top of the water, uh, which is not what we want. We want the string to soak up as much of the colored water as we can get it to, um, which is why I'm having to kind of tap it down into the water. Okay. Oh yeah, and we definitely have enough, so I'm not going to have to open up that yellow. Does it matter what color the string is? I don't think so. Um, I picked a color that I didn't think I was going to be using for anything else. <laughs> um, but it shouldn't matter. Not unless your string has, is naturally dyed in some way that might come off in the water. I'm just going to pick a page in my sketchbook. And you can do this two ways. You can just pick the page and be done with it. Or if you want to create um, a picture like on both sides of the page, then you can actually fold it over first. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. If you don't have a sketchbook, what kind of paper would work best? Um, for this one, because the paper is, is, isn't getting very wet, um, normal uh, printer paper is probably going to be okay for this one. Um, you can use cardstock, um, but I don't think it'll matter either way. All right, so we can kind of see my crease here. So I need to make sure that when I take and place my strings, they're all on this side of the paper. I might have actually made them too long, but that's okay. Okay. I think I'm just going to do one at a time. Or I'll do one for this one. And then I'll double up the purple and the green for the other one. Alright, so once I've got it closed up in there, I'm going to take my books. And we want there to be pressure on top. Then, okay, camera person, if you could kind of wrap around this way. So you can see we've got a little bit of the string hanging out right here. We have pressure on the books, and all you're going to do is just pull. You can pull fast, you can pull slow. Um, I'm going to go for fast and see what happens. All right. So now, let's open up our sketchbook and see what we got. Okay, so you can see that the string has definitely created an impression there. All right, so this didn't work out exactly how I planned, but if camera person, if you will kind of zoom in super close, if you can see our string has created fine lines right along here. And it might just mean that I need to work a little bit faster with my other strings. Um, because most of the ink, unfortunately, soaked in um, to the main area instead of following the string down as I pulled it out. But you can see some of the lines that are going on here. So, let's try again with another color. And this time, I think I will use the whole page. And, 
and it might just be that I had too much water and not enough food coloring. Um, if I'd had less water and more food coloring, that would have made the colors darker. Oh, there we go though, look at that. Yeah, I just needed to work a little bit faster so it didn't all soak in. All right, so depending on how you positioned your string, you can see that you get all kinds of cool abstract designs that kind of follow your paper down. You can use all kinds of different colors, of course. You know, you, whether you're using food coloring or whether you're using paint, um, you're obviously going to get different, uh, different varieties of color, different ways that the, the paint works with the paper and the string, um, depending on whether you're using paint or food coloring or something else. Uh, but there you have it. That is our program for today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in with us. Um, this will count towards your fairy missions for the week, so don't forget to take pictures of what you create and post those online on the Read Squared website so that we can see the cool things you've done. Um, you're also more than welcome to share them on Instagram and on Facebook with us. So thank you again. I hope to see you soon, um, and I hope you've had fun. Have a good day.